Last week, Watertown High School baseball head coach Aaron Manukian told Jim Verschbau that he thinks his squad will be very dangerous late in games this season. Well, for the second consecutive week, the Raiders won in their final at-bat. Watertown hosted Melrose on Wednesday night under the lights of Victory Field. It was a pitcher's duel with Watertown's Owen Newlin and Casey Williams combining for a shutout. Finally, in the bottom of the seventh, Casey Williams reached on an infield single and then proceeded to steal second. Now real quick, let's flash back to a little over a week ago when Watertown's Emilio Burnt was the hero in the bottom of the 10th inning in a game against Arlington where he delivered a walk-off hit to give the Raiders a 3-2 win. Fast forward back now to Wednesday night and who should step up to the plate but Emilio Burnt once again. With a runner on second, he comes through in the clutch again. This kid has the clutch gene. Brings Williams around from second, giving Watertown a walk-off one to nothing win. Emilio went three for four in the game and Casey Williams went three for three and got the W. Watertown improves to three and two on the season. Checking in on some other sports now, the Raiders boys lacrosse team gritted out a nice 18-16 win on Monday night on the road against Somerville High School, uh, but they came back down to earth a bit on Wednesday night uh, with a 20-5 home loss against Belmont. The girls lacrosse team fell short of their bid to start the season 3-0 with a road loss against Belmont on Wednesday night. And after dropping their first two games of the season, the Raiders softball team has bounced back with a pair of wins against Melrose and Belmont. So that wraps up this brief edition of the Raiders Report. We'll be back next week, and who knows what kind of exciting action will be in store in the third week of spring sports. Until then, back to Jim and Meyer for more Watertown Cable News. Take it away.